this lecture you are going to learn what is a keyword in general perspective a keyword is nothing but a word which has got a great significance right but let's talk from a website owner's perspective what does keyword mean it's just a phrase for which you would like to rank number 1 on google yes everyone wants to rank number 1 that's why everyone cannot rank number 1 it's pretty logical right that's where seo search engine optimization comes into play that's where this course excels actually we haven't seen much about what is a keyword let's see from a different perspective now a keyword doesn't need to be a single word for example wordpress themes when a user search for wordpress themes he may be expecting the search engine to display about wordpress themes for example what is a wordpress theme from where he can download it how he can install it or upload to his website or how to design wordpress themes so there are multiple things that are covered in this broad keyword wordpress themes the sort of the keyword the range will be broader let's move on to the next example wordpress themes for blog this is somewhat narrower but not too narrow because it just again tells a search engine that he needs wordpress themes for blog and not for a portfolio site or not for some news website or review website not something like that so let's move into the very long tail or very specific keywords free responsive wordpress themes for blog so this is the narrow keyword can you understand the concept here when you search for wordpress themes you will get lot of unrelated results compared to when you search for free responsive wordpress themes for blog now you have got a question whether you need to target for broad or long tail keywords on your website most seo experts recommend targeting long tail keywords only and i am no exception i do recommend the same because when users search for wordpress themes let's assume this scenario 1 on your website you teach how to design wordpress themes in such case if the user search for wordpress themes and your website appears in the first search result the user will come to your website and he will bounce back immediately then he will fine tune his search keyword to long tail keyword because he needs free responsive wordpress themes for blog to download and use it on his website whereas you are teaching how to design such theme it's a long process but he need a ready made solution for the term wordpress themes some xyz website may appear on 10th search result whereas when the user search for free responsive wordpress themes for blog that xyz's website may come to the first search result and when this search user enters the xyz's website he got what he wanted so the bounce rate will be low the time spent on his site will be high he may look for multiple themes he has got lot of choices he will surf around and download the one which he like at last so it's both win win situation for the search user and the xyz website's owner that is the reason why you should target long tail or very specific keywords on your website to get the most converting organic search traffic now in the next lecture let's deal with some basic and easy theory on keywords under seo Thank you.